Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage, Huntsville. Y'all know why y'all here. Uh, today I just wanted to do a follow-up video from uh, my video last night on Carlos King's Mr. Mondays and, and all of the foolery uh, because I wanted to... I, you know, ask the question, pose the question, really. And, and this is not due to any inside information or any of the uh, behind the scenes stuff that, no, no, no. I, I upload my videos and I go. But my thought process is this if there's going to be continued attacks against the millimeters and the mel supporters, and you are not providing proof, and it is going on 10 months of defamation, 10 months of slander. You have cast members continuing to fan the flames in the comments on Instagram, in the comments on the Facebook groups, and making false accusations, uh, trying to make it seem like Mel and or the Melometers are orchestrating attacks or orchestrating all these things. But nobody ever comes back with concrete proof on who these alleged people are. And I found it interesting, Carlos King refused to say the millimeters. Now, some people may interpret that as, oh, he's defending Mel. He's finally sticking up for Mel by saying no cast members uh, should be responsible for their fans or have to continue to speak up and speak out for their fans. However, he didn't denounce the millimeters either. You, you see what I'm saying? So it may have looked like on an end that he defended Mel or defended the Melometers, but I don't, I didn't really look at it that way. I looked at it as he's afraid to say the Melometers names because he knows the backlash that comes with it. And he wants to try to make it seem like it's a general thing of these alleged 10 people that are causing all this ruckus. But how do you know it's specifically 10 people, Carlos? Like, are these 10 people orchestrating? Like, is there some type of collaboration that we're unaware of? Because how would you know specifically that it's 10 people that are doing this? right? So it, it, it's just very weird. It, it's very weird behavior. And then to repeat some of the same talking points, the same rhetoric that Marceau repeats in discussing the millimeters, comparing the millimeters to Trump supporters and Carlos King comparing uh, these quote unquote disruptors to insurrectionists is completely out of order completely out of bounds there are literally you guys know i cover big brother literally the winner of big brother is receiving racist and death threats from fans on a regular basis and it has completely snowballed and i've seen that happen on love island i've seen that happen on love is blind and and like i said big brother i have never seen it ever get to that level on Love and Marriage Huntsville, where people are constantly harassing and, and doing all these things and getting people fired from their jobs and, and all of these things. I have not seen it to this extent. But with that being said, I'm against all forms of hate, all forms of bullying and attacking and everything else. But my thing is this, if there's no proof and you're going to go on for an entire year because we're going to have to presume that if there's 15 more episodes left of the season, that this is going to carry on into 2025. So you're already talking about an ongoing year because they started filming in January of 2024 this season. You're talking over a year of continued slander, continued attacks, continued defamation against male supporters and millimeters. And so I pose the question, should the millimeters, uh, male supporters, whomever, or even just general fans of the show, band together and file a class action lawsuit and, and say, listen, 
we need to get to a deposition to where you can provide hardcore facts that these are melameters that have allegedly done all of these things to Dr. Heavenly, that these are all melameters that have allegedly done X, Y, and Z. Because you can't lie in the court of law, right? You, you can't lie in front of the attorneys. You can't lie on the stand show the proof, show the evidence. And you would think since there's already an $105 million lawsuit that's taking place for singling out specific black women, female YouTubers on this platform. And again, trying to target people and, and all of these other things, you would think that you would go away from anything that could lead to a lawsuit anything that could lead to people saying you know what enough is enough i'm gonna take legal action because for the for you know for everything that i know as it pertains to mel fans mel supporters melameters whatever is they all mind their business they all mind the business that pays them. They, the majority of them support Mel quietly and, and just buy her products, buy support, whatever she's got going on. But the majority of them are quiet because they don't want all of the backlash because it's already a negative connotation that if you come out and defend Mel, oh, oh, you're, 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 you're a, you're a lesbianist. Uh, uh, you don't have a man. Oh, oh, you're bitter. Oh, you're trauma bonding. That is the narrative. But at what point do people take a step back and say, listen, you cannot elevate a fan base to the level of the Beehive, the Barbs, uh, Barty Gain, uh, the Swifties, uh, you know, all of these uh, fan bases and, and not have concrete receipts of what actually is taking place. And then when the block gets too hot, when Carlos King, you have a large platform to shut it down, you can't even utter the word the millimeters yourself. But you uttered your fan base, the raindrops. But not once in that video did you ever utter Mel's name or the Melameters, which tells me either something else happened to where something else got intervened, to where you can't just make these relentless attacks for a reality show, or flat out you're scared. You're flat out scared to say that name because you know the backlash that's going to come with it. And you're talking about how reality TV can head into a dark space and, and there's karma. Well, there's karma for people playing games on people's names. There's karma for people flat out lying on people. There's karma for people setting up people to take the fall that are innocent. And there is karma for people who keep putting out buzzwords and buzz sayings of things and never back it up with any proof, never back it up with any receipts and just expect everybody to go along to get along and, and just, you know, you know, believe it just because you're saying it. But you don't show the proof. You don't show the receipts. And I don't mean somebody in the comments uh, that's agitated that at this point it's nonstop for the past 10 months, you guys. No, 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 no. That's not bullying or harassment, you guys. Not once has anybody shown anything to where somebody is cussing somebody out, somebody is flat out attacking somebody, somebody is, you know, calling them every single name but the child of God. That has not been the case. You are quantifying anybody that dares to defend Mel or support Mel as bullying and harassment, and it makes zero sense. Boy, if this was the the other way around, you guys would not be having the same energy. But it's weird behavior. All of these attempts, you know, come back to the root of the problem, which is the show has no focus. The show has no direction. The show refuses to show everyone's real lives. So they, again, get amped up off of whatever's going on on social media and, um, you know, and bring it to the show. But then want to act upset 
when things play out on the show that doesn't work in their favor or people call BS or people don't watch. You can't have it both ways. But my thing is this. If these attacks aren't going to stop, either A, uh, Own and Discovery need to cut the millimeters a check for using their name, using their likeness, spreading all types of misinformation about them, or they're going to have to cut them a check another way in the form of a lawsuit. Because unless you can show those receipts that it is in fact millimeters that's doing this, all of this is hearsay. All of this is hearsay and all of this is being fueled because even the same cast members that tried to accuse millimeters of stuff even had to walk it back and clarify the real reason that X, Y, and Z happened. And I find it interesting as well that it's being left out that Carlos King also mentioned that Dr. Heavenly was receiving calls from cast members. The actual cast members from Love and Marriage Huntsville was not featuring things that she was saying about them. So it wasn't, quote unquote, uh, just people calling her office. No, 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 no. Dr. Heavenly actually was see receiving calls from actual cast members on the show asking her what the heck is she saying on these messy Mondays. And it really was Dr. Heavenly doing the bulk of the messiness because Carlos King was there to just give facial expressions and and, and react and eye rolls and, and whatever else or laughing at something messy. He was not trying to implicate himself um, unless he was defending Martel, unless he was trying to make Martel sound like a Casanova. But outside of that, it was mainly Dr. Heavenly that was doing all of the dirty work, that was doing all of the legwork while Carlos King sat back. So if Dr. Heavenly felt like she was the br one getting the brunt of all of this, because obviously, uh, mysteriously, none of it was going to Carlos King, which I find odd, right? Because if, if the millimeters were supposedly attacking Dr. Heavenly, wouldn't they have attacked Carlos King as well? But conveniently, that didn't happen either, right? Th this is only all on Dr. Heavenly. Like I said, I don't feel this is the real reason. I feel as though more so Dr. Heavenly got the backlash for working with Carlos King. And that there is still in some circles that Carlos King, a lot of people, still has a bad taste in their mouths. You notice still to this day, we will not see Candy Burris ever on Carlos King's platform. We still have yet to see uh, Phaedra on Carlos King's platform. There are certain reality stars, you guys, who have yet to still be on Carlos King's platform. And I don't think that's an accident. I don't think that's a mistake at all. I think that's intentional. I think that's on purpose. I think there's more behind the scenes stuff that actually happened at Bravo that we aren't privy to. And the fact of the matter is some people want nothing to do with Carlos. But Dr. Heavenly is smart enough to know that she's not going to put that out there to the masses. She's not going to put out there that she feels that Carlos King ruined her brand or that Carlos King was a bad look for her because she's still doing similar types of recap shows with other content creators. So if you're able to continue on your platform doing a variation of Messy Mondays, whether it's Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever, uh, you know, why didn't you continue with Carlos? I don't believe for a second that this is all about Love and Marriage Huntsville. I think the Marquez interview exposed all of the lying and manipulation that was taking place that is completely a 180 from the type of production stuff that goes on with Married to Medicine that Dr. Heavenly is used to. And she realized that it was impacting people's families of how far people were willing to go. And she wanted no parts of it, but still wanted to fulfill, you know, the remaining episodes or whatever that she agreed to with Carlos, uh, you know, which I find odd as well, that if you were that shaken by the Marquez interview, allegedly, but you, it made it seem like you were going to rebrand, focus on other things, focus on politics, uh, you know, and your mental health was at stake. Why did you continue? It, it, so, it, and this is the same thing with Carlos with Mel. When the show was supposed to originally start, Mel wanted to push the show back 
once everything got greenlit because that's when she found out about Martell cheating on her and she didn't want that on there she wanted to try to work on her marriage first so that they could present you know a certain way and united front as a couple and Carlos King said oh no 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 no, 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 no. This will be good. You'll be relatable to the viewers. You'll be able to tell your story. Da, 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 da. So Carlos King and Dr. Heavenly saying, hey, my mental health is being impacted. My mental health is being affected is like, well, no, 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 no. Uh, let me just, you know, you just finish these last couple of episodes and, and then and then you could write off in the sunset. It, it's always like, hey, can you still do me the solid? of you know going through something that is painful for you and i'm going to reap the benefits so how is that protecting black women and protecting mental health you guys but nonetheless i uh, you know hopefully this is the end of the bashing of the millimeters although i have a feeling it's not going to be i have a feeling this is going to be rehashed again uh in future episodes whatever the conclusion of the girls trip is going to be it's also going to be rehashed at the reunion and um it's going to be interesting to see what that reaction is going to look like on the reunion stage because the real harassment that Mel is experiencing is coming from actually the people who are, you know, putting all this out there about calling the Melometers deplorables and Trump supporters. How come their own relatives aren't shutting down and stop posting pictures of Mel's kids and Mel's mom and harassing and making false allegations that uh, Sugar Mama's father was allegedly some attorney? No, 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 no. What about shutting all of that down? That is a form of harassment. That is a form of bullying. That is a form of hate. And then basically putting out there that you've seen the revenge pee. That's direct interference with an active case. But nobody wants to talk about those things, right? Everybody wants to blame the millimeters for every single thing. But here's the thing. If the millimeters band together and file a lawsuit, I bet this uh, this isn't going to be continuing. I bet some scenes will start getting deleted, like allegedly it was getting deleted with the revenge pee and everything else because you go too far. You go too far to have a viral moment and it always backfires instead of traditional storytelling, instead of these people being transparent about their real lives. But hiding behind a fan base is lame. Making everything a fan base's fault is lame. At some point, there has to be accountability and responsibility, you guys. And if you cannot provide receipts that it is, in fact, millimeters that is doing all of this, then it is flat out slander. It's flat out defamation and legal action should be taken. So there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.